so good for our guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they have, they, they've done a great job. Mm -hmm. UNC Charlotte, you knew what was on the line going in, and they came in after you. They were composed, and things didn't start very well. They shot the ball extremely well. Sure did. DeMarco Johnson knocks in two threes, and yeah. we really weren't expecting that. We knew he was a great player, but we didn't think he'd step out there and knock in threes the way he did. Well, you and I have talked about him as possibly the conference player of the year. He presents an awful lot of problems with his ability to shoot outside. Talk about that just a little bit. Well, I, we can guard him out there. It, it's just that we were kind of, Kenyon was going to kind of stay home and, mm -hmm. and, and guard some other people, and th they all shot the ball. Right. right. They didn't have a guy, well, Colson, I guess, didn't maybe shoot it as well as he's capable, but everybody else shot the ball, and I thought we did a nice job on Colson. 12-4, they could take the lead, Kenyon scoring there, but they, they were doing some interesting back screening situations. You, you referred to that afterwards. That might not be clear to everyone. What's working there? Well, we're doubling across. Mm -hmm. we, we wanted to double across and get the ball out to Marco's hands, and, and at first they just skipped it out of there. He just turned and skipped it right away out of there. And then we, we kind of stunted at him, if you will, right. and, and tried to help recover more away from the ball. And when we started doing that, then they started screening us away from the ball right. so they could still throw the skips and just continued to make shots like that and made it awful difficult. To... Interesting, you said the way they're making these shots. You survive their best shot in this stretch. When they run it out to 12-4, you make a defensive change, put Bobby on DeMarco. You survive that, and now you're hanging with them. Well, I want to put Bobby on DeMarco because then Bob could go out on the perimeter and guard him. We could still keep right. Kenyon close to the basket to kind of change everything close to the basket. And they didn't shoot it very well inside the arc and shot it extremely well outside the arc. And that's an area where we've done a pretty good job defending all year. And there's there's an example. You were aware of that. You now Pete comes in to help and they mm -hmm. and they skip it out of there and continue to make shots. Well, let's give them some numbers on that. They hit eight of their first 11 threes, 48.3 percent overall in the first half, 67 percent. I mean, that's that's getting it done. Yeah. When, you, when you make shots out there like that, it has a tendency to spread the defense quite a bit. Sure it does. And they spread us, and we really, the second half, went more to trying to guard their post guys one-on-one -on -one and, and, and just do a better job defending on the perimeter and make the shots tougher on the perimeter. When you're shooting like this, there's not that many rebounds. The ones that are there, you got to get, and this is a good example on an offensive board. Yeah, Ruben, Ruben, when he plays small forward, we've talked about it, is, is a tough matchup. We just get him to go get it every time, the way he's capable of going and getting it hit. That makes it tough on people. Mm -hmm. You said going into this game, and you uh, impressed upon him over and over, not only scoring, Mel, you've got to rebound for me. You've got to do it. Well, he did. It was, it, you know, it's funny afterwards, people said, you know, to me, Mel have 15 rebounds? I said, no, you just remember everyone he gets. <laughs> you know, when you, when you have your head on the rim, everyone you get, it, people remember all of them. Mm -hmm. so he had seven and did a great job. A couple of them offensive. Nice little job here. Kenyon Martin, follow. Being in the right place again, you know, sometimes I feel like, Folks might get tired of us talking about the man, but he continues to step it up. Well, if somebody's been living in a cave, he's in the right place at the end of the game, too. Uh, yeah, he sure is. Nice little shot here, falling for Ruben. In spots, when you need him, I mean, he comes, comes and makes the big play. Not necessarily in that case. No. <laughs> there's, there's times this man makes the big play, uh -huh. too. He breaks down a defense, and, and right. when he doesn't make shots, mm -hmm. He draws people to him, right. which gets big bodies off of Kenyon, big bodies off of Bob, and enables them to rebound a ball. Another block shot. He's had a few of those. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk later in the show about the art of blocking from Kenyon's standpoint. Nice little play there, too. Bakes starts shooting for you in the second half of this game, and, that, and that's something, again, we've talked about it over and over. He needs to shoot the ball. Well, I told him at halftime, you know, generally the best shooter on a team takes some shots. Mm -hmm. and, and we talked about Bake getting more involved. There's Mel on the offensive glass. Right. We talked about Bake getting involved a little bit better and, and, and shooting the basketball mm -hmm. for us and really shot the ball for us all week, made big shots. Mm -hmm. Mel, nice second half tear for you. 14. Shooting 50%, 5 of 10 from the field, two for four threes. Um, but, you know, I'm amazed from where he was to where he has come. He was the all-league towel waiver for a while. <laughs> I, I told him, I, in fact, I told him, I think it was before this season, that he had a choice. He was either going to be, you know, one heck of a basketball player, the most athletic towel waiver in the history of of collegiate basketball. There's, you, know, you saw, they set stagger screens away from the ball, which right. we haven't seen 
any of all year, and that was a that, that was something we really had to adjust to. Now this is ball on the floor. Now we're going the other way, and uh, now up and down. Transition at times in this game was very very good. Well, we looked up the floor. We, mm -hmm. We've had a tendency not to look up the floor. We've we've become very much a half court offense and half court defensive team, and. And there's times we can't do that. Right. And we, because Charlotte sends so many people to the glass and they're so effective rebounded offensively, one of the ways to, to negate that mm -hmm. is to get out and score in transition. Six point lead here, but uh, hardly over. Ruben in the lane, nice little move there. Yeah, Ruben, Ruben takes it to the goal as well as anybody in America. And, and, and we did, we were in great shape and then we kind of give them a couple, you know, we gave them a couple off our bad offense. Mm -hmm. and, and to, and, Layups and then we miss free throws as Kenyon misses one here. And this is a huge rebound here That's by huge. Ruben and finish. Yeah, and fighting to control the ball. I mean, you've said this over and over, and that's a perfect example. I mean, he's in trouble, but this guy, once he's down, he gets back up and he proves it over and over behind the arc again. Not shooting it as well in the second half, but still getting the big ones. This point, you're down one, 17 well, seconds. That's very poor defense on our mm -hmm. part. With the clock running down like that, you switch every cross, and we had a guy who was not even close to being where he ought to been. And that decides Might have been a foul there, too. Melvin might have been. pushed out of bounds there. Kenyon Martin making a very big play for you. Four clicks left. Another look at it. Off and over the man. Take it back up with some touch. Very sweet. And then uh, a little bit of celebration because you know what you've done. Well, look what, at Bobby what a Brandon. job Bobby does there yeah. of, of keeping everybody on the bench. He's We've been through that before where we Ran out there a little bit before we should have, and, and that, that play by Bob right there, as much as Kenyon's basket, wins the game for sure us. Sure did, and that was uh, mindful of things that happened in the past. Here's your summary, folks. Bearcats win at 68-67. That assures them at least a share of the third straight conference title. Levitt has 26 and 7 boards. Patterson, 19 points, 5 boards. Martin, what can you say? 13 points on 5 of 6 shooting, 11 boards. He just keeps coming. And don't forget, Bob Brandon's defense and DeMarco Johnson makes the catch 22 and 5, 13 and 2 in the league.